So with the announcement of NVIDIA Ampere consumer cards yesterday, a few owners of some Turing cards, particularly RTX 2080s and 2080 Ti, since those are the two top dogs right now that are kind of being contested potentially by Ampere, those owners are panic selling. And when I say panic selling, I mean like they are, they are seriously devaluing these cards just to get them off their hands before the launch of at least the RTX 3080 which is, uh, some of these listings are just blowing my mind and I'm not sure how I feel about them, so stick around. By this point, you've probably seen our original ad for Thermal Grizzly's Carbonaut Pads. They're clean, peace of mind replacements for traditional thermal paste, and best of all, you'll never have to replace them. But did you also know that you can buy Carbonaut Pads in different sizes for various processors? They even make a giant 51 by 68 millimeter pad for Threadripper. I highly recommend Carbonaut Pads and you can learn more by clicking the link below. Now, if you guys wanna follow along, maybe you're watching this video a few days or a few weeks after uh, it is published, uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I am searching for specifically. So we're on eBay. I have RTX 2080. I know you can't see it because my, my thing's in the way, but uh, RTX 2080 Ti is all I'm searching for here. Uh, and then I am clicking the buy it now button, which gives Gives me, I mean, to me, this is a better gauge for what prices are, you know, what what prices these products are selling for uh, than the, uh, the all listings or the auction prices because those aren't current, like they're always changing. Uh, so you're not sure if that's actually like the final price that it sells for. You can also use the advanced tab, which is off screen. I'll show you that in a little bit as well. Uh, and then you can search by sold listings and you can see what these prices sold for or what these parts sold for. So we're gonna start with the RTX 2080 Ti. And look, I, I've got to be honest with you guys, I was kind of shocked going through some of these listings initially before filming this, some cheap, cheap RTX 2080 Ti's. It, it's, again, it's kind of mind blowing. So I haven't even sorted by like lowest price yet and we're already getting offers 500 bucks. There's no picture, this one's a little sketchy. Look at that, 670 bucks. 649, 689. This one, and eh, not so much. This is 699 here, 650. 950, okay, there are a few that have not adjusted at all. Definitely don't recommend you buy one of these for a thousand bucks. These cards, just off of, you know, even if we just assume a small, like incremental upgrade, which is not what Nvidia said uh, and during the premiere launch on, on Twitch, but even if we assume just a small 10% bump in performance, uh, th these cards are still not gonna be worth this price. I mean, this was the price that a lot of these cards were new. Granted, they have kind of inflated, uh, and this is an AIO card, so it's not really a good representation of it. But uh, you can see, the, the market generally has reacted. And that's another thing, like, why are so many people selling these cards now? Look, I have one RTX 2080 Ti that was sent by a company, I never bought one myself. Uh, MSI sent the Ventus model, we, we did a couple builds with it, but uh, it's hard for me as a reviewer, with half a million subs pulling 50K views a video on average, maybe more than that, uh, maybe less than that, just depends on the video. But uh, it's hard for me to get one, right? And, and they're so expensive, I would never consider buying one myself with my own money. It's just not, I don't need it for most of what I do. I have a 2080 Super in mind, and I think that that's more than enough for a lot of what I do. But uh, 1200 bucks was was just, it, it didn't make much sense to me, and that's kind of why I didn't focus too much on those cards on my channel. Uh, but, I mean, look, the RTX... 3070, that's not even launching until October. And that's the card Nvidia said would be more powerful than an RTX 2080 Ti. Again, we wanna fact check these things ourselves as independent reviewers, so don't take Nvidia at their word. I would tell you this if this was AMD, if this was Intel, if this was freaking GE, I don't care. Just wait for independent reviews before jumping on the bandwagon, right? It's, it's okay to be excited reasonably, Okay, but, but you shouldn't be so hyped up that you think, okay, well, that means that these older inferior cards are gonna be worth you know less than half of what they were at MSRP. We just don't know exactly. And that's why this is all a little uncertain to me. I, I don't know exactly how I'm supposed to feel because some of these listings, I mean, like this one here, this is a super, super bullish listing. Uh, and it, it's sold. It's sold for 600 bucks. Like. What, what is this? Even this one, even a Strix model, 2080 Ti for 700 bucks, that is nuts. It also sold. Am I searching sold listings? I feel like I am. That is what I'm doing. I'm on the wrong page. What am I doing? Okay, well, we were gonna talk about what these are currently, you know, what the current asking rates are. But uh, anyway, this gives you a good idea of what people should be expected to pay for these cards. These prices are insane. I can't believe I didn't realize. That's why these numbers are are in green. I didn't I didn't understand. I thought I had this set up to uh, to show uh, current listings, but uh, 
we'll go ahead and fix that. So I uh, click that advanced button if you wanna know how to check for sold listings and you'll click this box here and then uh, you can click search again and it will search for sold listings. So it'll show you kind of historical price trends. Uh, anyway, I am just gonna search by title and description now. So what we're looking at are current listings and we will this time sort by lowest price first. What do we have here? 600 bucks, that's an RTX 2080 though, not a 2080 Ti. Be careful what you're searching for. This is a 1080 Ti apparently, not worth 650 bucks. I don't know who the heck's selling that. Uh, 2080 Supers here. Why am I, like, I want specifically the 2080 Ti. So we'll, sir, we'll sort by frame buffer. That's a pretty good uh, fail safe there. Uh, 1080 Ti, 2080 Ti Mint. Look at that, trending at 999. So the, the trends haven't caught up yet to what some of the uh, asking rates are, or the asking prices are for these cards. But RTX 2080 Ti in mint condition, apparently, it's still in this guy's system. I mean, what does that tell you? Like, he will be replacing his current card with whatever is offered by NVIDIA that he decides is worth his dollar. Maybe he's gonna buy the RTX 3070 looking at more or less an even trade performance-wise, but wants to squeeze some money out of the sale first, which tells you that uh, you should wait because we don't know how the 3070 is gonna stack up. All we have is NVIDIA's word. That ain't good enough for me. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to make this video. Look, these prices might seem so good on the surface, but I have a pretty good feeling that a lot of these listings are gonna drop further in price if they still are around in a few weeks. Uh, once the 3080 comes out, and then especially once the 3070 comes out in October, apparently, uh, inventory, issues aside, potential inventory issues, uh, I think that these prices are gonna drop significantly, especially if we do get AIB uh, listings for around 500 bucks. I think 499 is MSRP for the 3070. We expect AIB's add-in board partners uh, to, to raise prices by around 100 bucks, maybe, maybe not, we'll see. Uh, but historically, that tends to be how it goes. These, I, I just wouldn't buy one for 700 bucks. For me to be interested right now in an RTX 20 Ti before even seeing how Ampere is gonna perform, I would need a price south of 400, maybe 450. I mean, it would need to be, and the thing too is the 11 gig frame buffer is really nice. On the TI cards, we had that with Pascal, and uh, we have that with Turing, and I think that the 11 gig frame buffer is gonna be the edge that the 2080 Ti has over the 3070, potentially, although I don't know how those cards perform yet, obviously, but uh, I, th that's just another reason to wait, because I do think there's gonna be a bit of a premium for the 11 gig frame buffer, but how much? And then you have to compare that against the, the GPU performance, the, the raw performance of the, of the, the, the GPU uh, in games. I'm just not sure. I'm not sure yet if eight gigs is even gonna be enough for the RTX 3070 and some titles that we test. Uh, so yeah, just a lot of unanswered questions. Next up, I wanna show you guys RTX 2080. So this is just 2080 listings. I'm not looking at the supers, any of that. The 2080 uh, is actually being, it's being sold right now for around 500 bucks. You can see this one right here is listed for 500 OBO, which is pretty incredible, uh, $4.99 here. But again, I think there's still a bit more room for these cards to dip, especially uh, given that we don't, you know, if the RTX 3070 is gonna be anywhere close to the 2080 Ti, which in and of itself is a decent leap over the 2080, then the RTX 2080 should be priced under MSRP of the 3070, especially considering both of these have the exact same frame buffer, right? Eight gigs. Uh, so these cards could potentially be sub $400 cards. And that's why I think right now buying these at 600 bucks, you might be thinking to yourself, wow, these cards have never been cheaper. Now's the time to buy. Well, hold your horses because the new cards that have been announced have not been released yet. Uh, and, and that's the stage that we're waiting for that hasn't arrived. So if you guys are impatient, you might fall for this. I wouldn't do it just yet. These look enticing, sure, on the surface, but it's all about context here. And frankly, we don't have enough context about the new release uh, to, to be able to definitively say whether or not these, these list prices are competitive. I don't think they are. That's just my hunch, especially for the 2080. I don't think that this is a good price for this card. Now, switching over to sold listings. This is gonna show us what these cards are currently going for or what they're currently selling for, I should say. Uh, this one here was the one that I shared on Twitter. This is a, a 2080XC from EVGA. It's a great SKU and $399 with free shipping. That is enticing, all right? Now, that that's super tempting. I think that's fairly competitive. Again, if we expect the 3070 to be close to 2080 Ti performance, for $499, then I would expect the 2080 naturally to fall under that price. This here is decent. Some people on Twitter said they expect these th this prices will fall even further once Ampere launches, but uh, I'm not sure. I, I, I feel like 
used sellers are going to be a little hesitant to drop these cards below 400 bucks, especially in the immediate short term, just because historically speaking, the 80 series cards have been around three to 400 bucks used at so $300 for the 1080 uh, a couple years ago. And then the mining phase kind of screwed things up, but uh, the 2080 is a significantly better card than the 1080. So I, I, I'm, I'm not sure. I think 350 would be like, if I saw a $350 RTX 2080 XC from EVGA listed, buy it now, free shipping, I'd probably buy it. I'd buy it just to, to maybe include it in the build to flip because uh, I think you can get more out of a system if you sell it as a whole versus part by part because then you're competing with so many different sellers when you start parting things out. And eBay is fairly competitive, especially when it's very just trigger happy with news and stuff. It's very reactionary and, and that's not always a good thing for the seller. So what I'm gonna do is sort by price plus shipping lowest first. Now we'll see a few kind of like duds, whatever here and there I expect. Let's see, there's no way this one was working. Open box, never used, in excellent condition. Are you serious? Tampa, Florida, I would have friggin' driven to Tampa to pick up this thing for 250. That is nuts. That I would buy in a heartbeat. I don't I don't need to wait for Ampere to know that that's a good deal. That's that's just incredible. That's almost what 1070s cost new like two weeks ago. That's insane. $300, RTX 2080. This is a Windforce card from Gigabyte. Not bad. 326 of Dell OEM. Okay, not as interested in a blower card, even for that price. 350 for the Aorus 2080, I actually have, this is a super, I don't have the super version, I have the regular 2080 version of this card. The LEDs on these fans, actually it's one LED per fan, uh, that just makes some crazy cool looking effects. And then RTX 2080 Founders, not bad, I'd probably buy this for 350. I think this is probably the upper end of what would be interesting for me. And then of course we come to the uh, $400 listing I was just talking about. So these prices, whew, let me tell you, I think that what we can take away from this, a few things, uh, if you're buying now, make sure you're buying like something like this, just like a crazy ridiculous price that competes with some of Pasco's offerings from a few weeks ago. I don't think you're gonna see these cards for much cheaper than this anytime soon. Frankly, I don't think RTX 2080s are gonna drop below 300 bucks anytime soon on average. I would be surprised, I'd be more than happy to admit that I was wrong if that happens in a few weeks, but uh, these cards are incredible and I think for $300, that's just, that's, that, that, I don't know. I, I really don't know what to think of this. Uh, but I will say that most of you should wait a bit more if possible. Uh, as tempting as it may be, I, I just, some of these things are just nuts. Um, they're just, I have a feeling that a lot of these haven't hit the shelves yet. I don't think they're selling just yet at the higher prices because people are willing to wait. I mean, people that have these cards already are waiting a bit longer. Uh, and I mean, you see you know, listings for eight, $900, like those, good luck with that. Like this right here, good good luck with this listing, dude. $1,000, is this new? You say it's new, okay. Well, it's not even worth a thousand bucks new and you're selling this in the US. So um, I'm kinda, kinda not feeling that price. There are gonna be a few crazy listings like that, okay? But uh, if you see a 2080 for 250 bucks, snag that all day. That, that's my advice. Anything more than that, anything more than especially 300, 350 bucks, just wait. Two things are gonna happen. Either Ampere ends up underperforming, it's underwhelming, and at that point, you just end up buying a 2080 anyway, or a 2080 Ti on the used market, or Ampere exceeds all expectations, drives down these prices even further, and at that point, if you still want Ampere, buy it because it seems to be competitively priced. Uh, again, we don't know specifics yet, uh, but this is the vibe I'm getting. This is very Pascal launch vibey, and and I'm I'm relieved. This is this is classic Nvidia in a good way. Uh, and Turing was such a break from that. I was very critical of the Turing launch, but uh, here I have a much better feeling in my gut. And uh, going forward, I expect that a lot of these prices will normalize to around mid 300s. Now I know there are some who would never consider buying used ever. It's not something that even crosses their radar. Okay, like like sure, I understand that, but uh, I, I do think there's a ton of value in the used market and the eBay buyer protection guarantee is pretty bulletproof. I've only been wrong a couple times there and even then after about 30 days, I typically get my money back. Um, you just be careful, read the descriptions, know what you're buying. I saw a couple listings seem like great working condition you know, cards and then you read at the very bottom in small font, car does not work. And it's like, okay, well, why go through all this trouble? You're just trying to make me buy a card that, you know, I don't realize isn't working, but that's on 
the buyer, right? Do your due diligence, especially when spending this amount of money on a card, make sure you're buying one that functions, it's guaranteed to work by the seller before you buy it. Otherwise, if you can test the sale, eBay's gonna say, sorry, you didn't read the description and you're kind of SOL there. So that's about all for this one. I hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, this little tour uh, through the depths of eBay. I have lots of fun generally digging through uh, listings like these and, and kind of just, you know, analyzing prices, seeing how prices are affected in the short term by major shifts, major, you know, news trends, things like that. But, uh, you know, hopefully you have an idea of kind of where prices are headed and we'll see how those change, especially in the next few weeks once the RTX 3080 launches. And then shortly after that, we assume in October when the 3070 launches. So the, the 3090, I don't know. I, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna wait to talk about the 3090 because it's a totally different, uh, that's, a, that's a totally different fish barrel. I, I just don't think that that card is gonna be very appealing to many gamers. Not that it's technically a gaming card, but it is, an RTX 30, I mean, it's an RTX number. It's not a Titan, even though it was supposed to replace a Titan. Like if you wanted to keep the Titan branding and not appeal to gamers, just call it a Titan again. Uh, but they're lumping it in with gaming cards. So it, it's kind of a, an odd man out. And we'll talk more about that in a dedicated video, I think. But uh, for now, if you guys like this video, wanna leave a comment down below. I'd appreciate that input. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Now we'll catch you in the next one. I'm gonna keep hunting. Maybe I'll find a, uh, a gold mine. Maybe I'll find a, a pretty sweet listing like the uh, $250 Founders Edition card here. I am I am all for this thing. And this is nuts. I know it's like cut off the screen. Sorry about that. But uh, this is a crazy good listing. I don't, I'm going to try to look for one like this. And I assume I'll be competing with a few of you on eBay as well. So I uh, made the best bidder win. You guys are awesome. I will catch you in the next one. My name is Greg. Thanks for hunting with me.